Hello and welcome back to GMAX Studios. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at how to shoot in manual mode. In fact, after watching today's episode, quite a few of you will be really disappointed to figure out that how easy it is to shoot in the manual mode. Because mostly, manual mode is made out to be one complicated mode which only the real photographers use. But it is nothing like that. But before we begin, I would like you to go and see episode number 5 by clicking here if you have not already done that. If you have, let's not waste any time and dive straight into manual mode. We can switch to the manual mode by switching to M on a Nikon or on a Canon. As we have discussed in episode 5, the three settings that make up a good exposure are aperture, shutter speed and ISO. So let's take a look at this frame and switch our mode to the manual mode. The most important thing to note here is the exposure value scale which comes at the right hand side of the screen. On some cameras, it might also come at the bottom of the screen. If the value is towards the minus side, it means that the scene is underexposed. And if it's towards the plus side, it means that the scene is overexposed. So what we need to do essentially is to make sure that the value is at absolute zero, which will ensure that the scene is properly exposed and we get a good photograph. So here we see that we are at one thirds of a second at f8 at ISO 100 and we are underexposed by almost one and a half stop. So the thing to do is to create a situation where the value is at zero. So let's say I have decided to shoot this picture at f8 because I like the depth of field. So I will now change my shutter speed and make the bar go towards zero so that I get the perfect exposure. And as I slow down the shutter speed, it goes towards zero and I have the perfect reading, which is F8 at one second. Now let's say I want to shoot this at F4 because I want a shallower depth of field. So I will increase the aperture to F4 and as you can see, the picture is overexposed now. So now I make the shutter speed faster and get it back again to zero. So now I have a value of F4 at 1, 2.5 of a second. So now let us assume that I want to shoot this picture at a certain shutter speed let's say 1 20th of a second because I feel that 1 by 2.5th of a second is too slow and my hand might shake. So once I put it to 1 20th of a second, I see that again my picture is underexposed. And now since my lens is f4, I cannot open it any further. So the only thing to do is to increase the ISO to the point that the value again comes to zero which is at ISO 800. Always remember increase the ISO last of all because increasing the ISO degrades the quality of the photograph. That's all for this episode. In the next episode we will take a look as to how to shoot in the program mode. Now the program mode is not a mode just for beginners. It is an extremely advanced mode which makes you capture those moments which are just not possible to capture in any other mode. Until then, keep watching GMAX Studios and do subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends. Until then, bye-bye.